So today we are looking at the Paradise 23.1 Linux distro. So here is the language selection. So let me quickly boot it in a live boot. So here are the options in the boot menu. So let me boot it in a live boot. I'm running it on a virtual machine which is a VMware with 80 GB of hard disk, 8 GB of RAM and my CPU is i5-1240p. So let me wait until the desktop load, uh, loads and I'm going to say the uh, time of uh, loading. So here is the desktop layout of the Paradise 23.1. So it took like a, almost like a 2.3 minutes exactly. So it was very quick. So let me first open the uh, task manager and the desktop environment I choose is the XFCE. So here is the uh, task manager. The base of uh, system resources is uh, 1.1 GB and the CPU is around like uh, maybe 50% uh, under. It's not still stable because uh, it started up right now. So you should run until like uh, 60 seconds or a minute to get the exact uh, graph of the CPU. Sometimes uh, in some cases the CPU will be or not be on the stable side. It will be a high peak, a high graph or a low graph. So it's a different uh, situation uh, in that uh, Linux distros. But uh, let's see what happens in the uh, CPU after running the 60 seconds. So these are all the process running right now in the beginning or you can say it as a, a base of uh, system resources. So in the base it uh, it's almost like a 1.2 GB and process are 284 and uh, CPU is like this. I didn't even change the display resolution because I didn't uh, want to see any or anything opening uh, after the system resources. Uh, to get the exact uh, uh, numbers of the CPU and the RAM so that's the reason I didn't even change or touch anything here not even the settings so let me change the display display resolution so let me put the uh, task manager in the right side corner so you can see all the changes uh, throughout the video keep this configuration so let's put the task manager in the right side corner so you can see all the changes so here is the advanced of the displays here is the general you can customize according to your wish so i'm going to open the internet browser let's see what browser we get so you get a firefox esr browser almost every linux distro almost like a 70 to 80 percent of linux distros will have the default browser which is uh, firefox sometimes it will be like a chromium sometimes the brave sometimes the falcon so most cases you should be seeing the firefox web browser so let's see the version first and uh, go to the official website and uh, see all those changes. So the version you get of uh, Firefox is 115.6 OESR or 0 ESR you can call it whatever you want. So let me type in about support before going to the official website to get some of the distro information. So here is the about support hit enter. So you get all the information here like a OS theme and the user agent all the important information if you consider it as important it is important but if you not it's clearly up to you. So I'm not going to read everything just uh, because I don't want to make a lengthy video so that's the reason I'm trying to keep everything uh, uh, in uh, almost uh, 30 minutes because uh, showing everything will take almost 30 minutes if I read everything it's going to take a lot of time it will make like a 3 to 4 hours video so that's the reason you just pause the video and read everything here so these are all the important things so let me scroll it so these are all the things you can just pause the video or you can slow down the video so let's go to the official website which is uh, paradise linux just type like this uh, this is the search uh, thing or a search uh, term I'm using a VPN so that's the reason there is a, a random language I don't know what language it is so here is the official website let's open the website so it takes a few seconds here to load up so this is the URL you need to uh, type in in the search bar uh, in your browser to get directly to there or you can just uh, use the same method I did uh, just type in the search term Paradise Linux and uh, the first link will be Paradise Linux and here is some of the information you can go through all those things all the changes if you want it's clearly up to you so when you click on download it's going to uh, take us to the download section so let's wait 
I don't know why it's a bit uh, slow here. Maybe of some uh, reason. Not because of my VPN. My VPN is working properly. So let's go to the latest release notes. So here is the system requirements you need for the uh, to run some of the desktop environments. In order to run the XFC, you just need a, a one gigahertz uh, CPU. Uh, RAM is almost uh, one GB, and hard disk is eight GB, and uh, graphics is like this. So in order to run GNOME server, these are all the you need a bit of uh, uh, more resources. So almost uh, every uh, Linux uh, user will try to download the XFCE but if you still want to try it, uh, the GNOME version it's clearly up to you, you can judge on your own I don't uh, need to say anything here there are two desktop environments available and some of other options too so let's see the release notes here is the release notes of uh, 23.0 so this is a point update so there should be nothing changed here some uh, fixes bug fixes like that so these are all the uh, things you get in a 23.0 linux kernel 6.1 firefox 1 or 2 but uh, we have the uh, latest version or not the latest version it's uh, 115 but in the release notes of 23.0 um, uh, you get the 1 or 2 so the latest version of the firefox should be like a 127 i guess i don't properly remember because i forgot to make a uh, I stopped making a videos on Firefox browser so that's the reason. So this is the VLC media player, some of the changes like a library office, all those things. So here is the package optimizations. So this version of ISO file I am using is 23.1. So let's see whether we get the in the downloads the latest version or not. So let's click on downloads. So you get a uh, PADS 23.0 XFCE but i got the iso file from the uh, distro watch let me show you that so you can uh, just type in distrowatch.com and i'm going to show you the uh, point version as you can see here is the 23.1 let's copy the link and uh, let's uh, paste here so this is the place you get the uh, 23.1 so let me remove this uh, part which is uh, xfc part let's click on the pad 23 so here are all the iso files or beta versions all those things you can just uh, download from here 23.1 xfce iso files you need to find the this is the gnome iso file and uh, this is the xfce let me click on the xfce and here is the uh, 23.1 ISO file so I'm using a VPN uh, I don't know for some reason the internet is pretty much slow but in my main PC it should be working like a 10 MB 12 MB I don't want to even talk about that so let's close this so th that was all the uh, things uh, of the downloading process and uh, changes of 23.1 uh, 23 uh, we don't have any 23.1 release notes so let's uh, leave it like that let's type in uh, let's open the terminal and type in some of the commands so let me drag it like this let's check the about so let's close it let's open and uh, try about the version you get 1.0.4 so let me type in inxi-sv to get all the distro information hit enter and you get all the distro information in just a single command let me show you that i'm not going to read everything i'm just going to show so here is the system information complete system information is here just pause the video and read everything on your own so here is the uh, machine information here is the cpu information here is the vulnerabilities here is the graphics monitor display all the information and uh, here is the audio information here is the network information network bluetooth drives partitions all those things so here is the usb information here is the sensors repos information and here is the process and uh, info information so let's type in uh, cat fallen slash etc fallen slash issue here is the uh, 
hit enter so here you get uh, pad as new linux 23 so let's try the new fetch so new fetch is not pre-installed let's uh, try to copy the command and uh, paste the command here and uh, hit enter it's going to take a few seconds you need to type y to continue or no uh, n for no so it takes a bit of time to install those uh, things which is needed here is the desktop features you get sticky notes internet connection pad as update show app so here is the power manager performance power save you can customize according to your wish you can check your updates let me try it so here is the volume audio mixer so it's clearly customizable it's uh, clearly up to you to customize all those things your system is up to date that's a good thing let's check about here is the version let's close it settings notifications you can customize these things also which is a power manager date and time logout screen or a power options desktop so let's uh, type in neofetch now hit enter so here is the neofetch so i think this is the code name which is ermuk so it's a uh, turkey language i don't know how it uh, is uh, in uh, english but it's a uh, yermic so let me uh, type in headstop so before headstop let's type in the uh, commands which is inxi so these are all the same command as the inxi-sv8 but this is all the in a short form so inxi small b so you get uh, uh, some basic information instead of every uh, complete information of the distro inxi capital f inxi capital g so these are all the things we needed headstop headstop is not pre-installed so i'm not going to install because it's going to take a few seconds but uh, we don't need a headstop anyway because we are running task manager uh, from beginning of the video so let's go to the installation section now or the installer let's open the installer so it's almost like a 1.6 gb now it's uh, almost maybe we've been running the distro almost like a 15 to 20 minutes here is the installer automated uh, install click on next so you need to choose your language again this will be same as every linux issue there is nothing complicated in the installation so you don't need to be worried choose your languages click on next and choose your keyboard layout or you can test it the installer style is different but all the installation will be same so you don't need to be worried choose your location you can choose the uh, map or you can choose the drop down menu here click on next choose your hard disk you can create a swap partition use uh, lvm manual partitioning install uh, system with updates so it's clearly up to you uh, whether to do this or not uh, and uh, if you want a single boot you can choose this option if you want a dual boot you can go with this option so you need to be having an idea what you are doing when the you need the choosing this option because uh, it's going to erase everything if you choose the uh, erase disk and uh, or the uh, single boot option this is a manual uh, boot uh, this option is like a, you need to create a partition before doing this option or choosing this option but if you choose this it's going to erase everything which is available in that hard disk if you have like a multiple hard disk you can choose a multiple uh, you need to choose the uh, a specific hard disk or a installation destination wherever you want to install so if you have chosen the if you have like a multiple hard disk choose the exact hard disk uh, where you want to install after that click on next so everything you need to if you want encryption uh, you can do that so it says uh, it gives us a pop-up warning or a pop-up uh, you get a pop-up this will delete all the data on the vmware 
I'm choosing on a VMware so I don't uh, need to be worried because I can uh, create a uh, virtual disk again so you, you need to be careful while choosing this option if you don't know if you are a beginner always watch like a five to six uh, different channels videos of that specific Linux distro don't just watch my video and uh, try to install because it's a foolish thing to just watch someone's single video and uh, try to install because it's your PC you need to be very careful because it's going to ruin your PC if you don't know what you're doing so always watch like a five to six videos and a five to six different channels videos so it it will be helpful so i'm not going to install this because i need to make another video so that's the reason i'm not going to install that's just a process or a run through of installation so let's exit the installation let's open the file manager this is how it looks uh, by look wise it is pretty uh, pleasing to eyes everything is simple classic nice so I, I like the look of the Paddas Linux. I, I didn't even use it for years or anything like that. I just make a video and uh, uh, make another video. So I'm going to delete the uh, virtual disk like that. I just make a videos on that specific Linux distro and uh, just for move forward because I'll do uh, distro hopping every day because I need to make uh, three to four videos daily. So I don't properly remember what I did yesterday because of these things. Uh, I'll be making like a random Linux distros. It is very hard for me. So the people who uh, are uh, right now using that type of Linux distros or the specific pad as Linux distro will know all the changes. So if you know changes, do let me know in the comment section. So the by the look, it's pretty good. Uh, when you ask about look everything is uh, looking proper classic nice uh, systematically uh, designed all those things as you can see everything looks uh, uh, pretty much neatly in the xfce desktop environment i made all the other desktop environment also which is uh, gnome i don't properly remember if you want you can check this uh, in my channel because i made like uh, almost uh, maybe 2600 videos of every linux distro so i should be made uh, I remember I made a video on a GNOME desktop environment of a PADAS. I don't know the changes. Uh, you already know because the 2600 videos no one remembers. If I remember, I should be a god if I remember all those things. Uh, I can't remember even the yesterday's videos. So that's uh, my mentality or uh, that's my behavior, whatever you want to call it. So these are all the uh, changes you get in the uh, file manager options. So I don't think there is nothing to show here because you already know how to check, how to modify all those things. The version you get of the Tuner Manager is a 4.18.4. So let's close this all things and let me do the uh, some basic task or the day-to-day uh, -day task which I usually conduct or I uh, make that uh, try uh, which is almost like a stress test for the Linux distro because I open some random applications and test whether this uh, Linux distro will handle the day-to-day -day task because some viewers try to open a lot of applications at once so to show them whether this uh, distro will handle that uh, stress test or it just crashes or just maybe it should pop up with bugs or something like that so that's the reason i do this type of tests uh, by launching all the applications like uh, 10 to 12 applications and uh, try to switch their applications if i find any lag or any crashes or any bugs i'm just going to say that it's better option to wait uh, for another version or just uh, skip that version so that's the uh, main objective here I open all the applications which are a bit of a resource consuming because we can get the exact numbers or the exact answer when we open that uh, uh, bit of resource consuming applications but uh, when you just open the basic applications which doesn't consume uh, that much of resources it will be very hard and it, it is not uh, worth of testing like that so always open uh, big applications like a GIMP, LibreOffice, Krita and uh, some of the like uh, Inkscape image editors and video editors like that it will be you you should be getting an exact answer for that so we need to open some random 12 to 13 apps and try to switch and uh, do let uh, do let me know if you have like a 4 GB of RAM and 2 GB of RAM because I have like a 8 GB of RAM I shouldn't uh, get any bugs or anything like that you need to test it on like a low end pcs or uh, you if you have like a low ram you can test it on your own 
and always try it in a low boot a live boot sorry not a low boot so you should be getting an answer whether to use that linux distro or not but if you want to try this uh, linux distro do let me know in the comment section how was your experience with that uh, linux distro so if you ask my uh, point of view or if you ask me how it is working i say i'm going to say it is pretty much uh, smooth uh, nice uh, using this the it's like a pleasing to eyes uh, if you ask me everything is working properly i don't have any issue or any bugs uh, uh, i ran like almost like a 30 minutes till now i guess everything is working properly as you can see there is no pop up or anything like uh, bugs or anything everything is working properly all the applications are opening instantly there is no lag or anything like that so everything is good and the xfc desktop environment you already know that doesn't consume a lot of uh, uh, system resources i don't know how it performs on the gnome desktop environment but if you want to uh, see the gnome environment also do let me know in the comment section i will be making a, a video on the gnome desktop environment if you want but if you don't want you can just uh, watch this video and uh, watch other channels i don't have any problem with that so i think i opened all the applications i guess pretty much uh, more applications which are uh, which is available these are all the paradise applications so you get all the tweaks and all those things and we already opened uh, all the applications so you don't get a lot of uh, heavy resource uh, applications here just uh, gimp and library office so i don't know how it uh, it's going to see so let's try to switch the applications and as you can see there is no lag or any uh, crashes or anything like that everything is working smoothly let's go to first application no lag or anything like that as you can see that's pretty good work from the paradise linux there's no lag no nothing like that let's see the system resources so it's consuming like a 2.8 gb and you need to install like a uh, Inkscape and uh, Krita, Darktable and some of the resource consuming applications, Blender to on uh, if you have like a 4 GB app RAM and you should run uh, this uh, applications and you should be getting an uh, exact answer whether to use its uh, Linux distro or not. But I can exactly say that uh, this Linux, Linux distro will handle that all the applications at once because seeing all these things everything is working properly i didn't see any bugs or anything or any a bit of nothing of like a lag or something like that not even one second uh, there is a lag as you can see everything is working properly 2.8 gb and processors are 290 cpu is almost 30 40 percent cpu is not stable in this uh, linux store for some reason but uh, everything is working properly that's the only thing i want i don't know how it works on the low end pc if you have like a cpu of a second gen third gen and if you have like a 2 gb or 4 gb of ram i don't know what to say because i didn't test on that type of uh, low end pc so if you have like a low end pc do let to uh, let me know in the section uh, comment section if you tried it or if you want to try it you can try it and it's always a good option to try it in a live boot so there will be no uh, major difference in the ram or uh, some uh, like a using of a linux distro when you install or a live boot there will be a bit of difference like a 400 500 mb maybe in the ram that's the difference you get uh, if you install that on a hard disk or if you run it on a live boot that's the difference you get it so i think that's the end of the video let's uh, check the applications uh about information and end the video I, I pretty much covered everything so i am going to put it the cpu in the right side corner so this is the about information pad s 23.1 let's check the version of the library office because the library office version was 7.4 in the 23 version but uh, you get the same information or the same version in here let's close the library office Let's check the tuner manager. I already showed you. Let's close this also. So G parted. Let's see the version 1.3.1. Gimp. Let's see what version you get. 
2.10.34 Firefox already showed you the version so let's see the about disk usage analyzer 43.0 so here is the paradise xfce tweaks there are good wallpapers here this one is good most of the uh, wallpapers are pretty much uh, beautiful as you can see so these are all the wallpapers you get there are pre pretty wallpapers added from the paradise that is pretty good and here is the display here is the theme keyboard fonts languages clock panel preference power management startup applications you can add the applications if you want default applications restore default they work uh, they work uh, i think uh, the work from the paradise developers is uh, pretty much uh, amazing to be said so we need to appreciate this type of work everything is uh, simple classic uh, neatly done work i should say that's a good uh, work from the paradise linux so 0.7.5 i'm amazed with the uh, like a work from them there is no lag or anything like that that's pretty good you can even use it as a live boot so i think it's a good alternative from uh, instead of using the deep in linux it's a better option to go with the paradise linux so in my opinion it's a better option instead of using a deep in linux so as you can see the icons in the taskbar and the about section everything is looking pretty much good so that's a good work uh, from the paradise linux and uh, these are the themes you get icons fonts settings so we need to appreciate people who work properly and uh, work harder for that so this is the result you get when you work harder so that's pretty good from the paradise linux xfc desktop environment i don't remember the gnome desktop environment but uh, if you let me uh, if you want to see that uh, gnome desktop environment and if you want to see my opinion or if you want to listen to my opinion i'm going to make a video on that if you want so here is the snaptic package manager so the installed packages will be highlighted with a green box you already know all those things so you can just pause the video or change the playback speed to 0 0.25 to see everything in a slow mo let's check the about so i i think i covered everything i guess so if i forgot anything do let me know in the comment section at the end of the video this is the cpu and uh, the ram is almost 1.8 gb and processor 259 so i'm going to end the video and i need to make another video so that's the reason so i'll be posting two videos daily without missing any day so if you want to consider subscribing you can subscribe or else you can just watch my video and watch other channels i don't have any problem with that so again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out